And welcome back to Prep Rally. This is the week 14 edition, or 15, if you count zero. From zero to this week is 15, but if you don't count zero, then it's alt plus not equals not something. I just it's state championship week, that's Rick. It, that's it, what it is. It's state, it's state championship week. We've got state championships going on in crunch 7A, 6A, and 5A this week, and semifinals in all the rest of the classifications. So Friday night, War Memorial Stadium will have the Class 5A state championship. That will be Pulaski Academy against Little Rock Christian. Should be a great game. Saturday, two games at noon. The noon game, Greenwood against Benton. And then the 630 game, the primetime game, Rick, 30,000. I'm counting 30,000 people will be there Saturday night. What do you bet? North Little Rock against Bryant. I'm saying 30,000. Wow. You know what? I'm going to have to go back in the archives because that's about how many fans they had when – uh, uh, Springdale High beat West Memphis in 2005. Springdale, in my mind, still the greatest high school football team ever, uh, you know, peer uh, on a championship field in Arkansas. Well, I'm but going 30K. 30, you know, don't let me down, Central Arkansas. 30K. I'm expecting 30K there Saturday night, so don't let me down. They'll have a big crowd for that noon game, too, Rick, because Benton, you know, it's you know not. I mean, those it's right there. You know, Little Rock. Yeah. And you know, Greenwood's going to travel. You know, they they're going to they they yeah. zip up the town at both ends. Last one out zips it up, and they go. And uh, we, uh, Andy Shoup and I, our photographer, were down there yesterday. I think every sign in that town has a bulldog on it. I don't care. It's Sonic has a bulldog. McDonald's bulldog. Everything. Napa Auto Parts bulldog. Everywhere bulldogs everywhere. Hey, I think they plan. Uh, uh, if you're a Greenwood plan, just like me and my wife plan to go to Branson every year, watch the ball knobber and a little honky tonkin'. Uh, when you pick up your schedule, saying, "Okay, honey, uh, we got the first game here, and the fifteenth game will be December," so they plan on it. Book it's it. Marked it. Book it. Let's Book do it. it. Book Don't it. mess around. Yeah, this would be the what? The eleventh. So, so Rick, this will be 15. so. So Greenwood's in the championship game. Rick Jones. The coach at Greenwood has been there. This is his 15th season. They're going for their eighth state championship in his 15th season there. Now, I'm not a math major, but I think that's one every other year, pretty close to it, right? It's one, two, naught plus naught, zero, and carry the one. That's about one every other year. You so this just in. I think that's pretty good. That's a dominant program in Arkansas. I can't think of it. I remember Barton back in the day, Little Rock Central way back in the day, Pine Bluff and Don Hudson way back in the 1930s when your granddad walking around in, uh, uh, in the cotton fields in Texas or whatever. I remember Greenwood, I remember back in the early 90s, I covered some of their games when they were just going six and five, five and six. One year they took a, the kid, the 230-pound center, saw him throwing a football around on the sideline, made him the quarterback. Mm -hmm. And that when Ronnie Peacock won one state championship there, and he went uh, uh, up to Rogers. But, man, Rick Jones, he's got to be considered up there. Uh, once his uh, career, his stint is over there, he's going to be considered one top, what, five high school coaches he in Arkansas? Be. So, Rick, how about the 7A? Who do you see winning that one, Bryant, North Little Rock? I, I got to stay with North Little Rock. How I believe it would be 26 in a row if they win this Saturday. It be 26 wins in a row for them. And back-to-back -back state champions, and back-to-back -back state champions for the Central. You know what? They've always had some good athletes here and there, and then they finally uh, they got a coach put it all together. But hey, if anybody can beat them, it's Bryant. Uh, the great thing about um, 7A, the best two teams, sorry 7A West, sorry some of you teams back there, uh, but the 7A Central has taken over at the premier conference in Arkansas. you got your two best teams there, and I'm going North Little Rock. Wouldn't be surprised at all at Bryant. 30K. Yeah. All right, Rick, 6A. So we're going to talk about Greenwood a little bit. Greenwood's going to be taking on Benton, both teams from the 6A West. Okay? Mm -hmm. First time they played, Greenwood absolutely boat raced them, 62 to 30-something. Oh, I mean, yeah. just absolutely crushed them. All right, this week, went over to Greenwood on Tuesday. Their defensive linemen all sporting mustaches this week. I think we have photo evidence of that, maybe some video of it. But anyway, Rick, some of them having to kind of paint it on a little bit. That's okay. You know, it's I got right. some. I got. I got some. You know, non-growth areas in here too. You know, you know, I don't grow right in here some. Yeah, but anyway, they all wearing mustaches. It's 
awesome. It's fantastic. I think we got a picture of about eight or nine of them with their mustaches on going. So anyway, that's a that's a really cool thing for high school kids. They have, they're having some fun with they're it, Rick. They're having some fun. A sign of UND. I, I watch baseball and state championship and guys take their hat and they go, oh, they got, they got like purple hair or orange hair and they went, why are you kids doing or that? Or no hair. A sign of uh, unity. So, you know, that's something different. So, I like it. So uh, Having I, fun. I got a little extra. Hey, if you boys down there at Greenwood. Get you I a little mean, transplant yeah, right yeah, here. Right Rick here. is donating follicles. Yep. For you follically challenge kids down there, Rick is going to help you. So, Rick, Greenwood, Benton, a matchup of the, two of the classiest coaches yes. that you'll find anywhere. Brad, Rick Jones, Brad. who we've already talked about, yeah. Brad Harris over at Benton. He was at Lincoln. He was at Arkadelphia. Yep. Two great coaches. They've done a great job with their program. Rick, who you got? Got to go with Greenwood. Got to go with Greenwood. Even though I, I love me some Brad Harris, shows you how good a coach he was. Uh, Lincoln was doing nothing. He went over there, took them on a nice run, uh, moved down to Benton family reasons, and uh, uh, got to go with Greenwood. But I hope it's a good game. It should be a good game. I know, you know, like I said, they should have a big crowd there, and that'll be great for that. So let's go to 5A. Rick, we'll talk about that real quick. Pulaski Academy, they're going for their 75th state championship in a row or something like that, you know, whatever, been a bunch of them. Uh, Little Rock Christian ready to uh, maybe knock PA off. Can that happen? Can Justice Hill, can he lead Little Rock Christian to a win over PA? You know what? Maybe under normal conditions, but PA's got a, a, a superstar in their own right. His name is Hudson Henry. You could quarterback and fl uh, flip it up there somewhere, and he's going to catch it. So, and, and their quarterback play has gotten a lot better, and they're unorthodox. They do the onside kicks and everything. So, uh, I got to go with PA on that one. All you got to know is Harrison scored 54 four points against PA last week and, and lost by three touchdowns. And lost by three. Lost by three touchdowns. Oh, yeah, 75 points. There you PA. go. There My you go. Goodness. It Ooh. is. Uh, that's incredible. So, you're going to take PA to win the 5A? Yes. All right, so let's go to 4A, Rick. We've got a game up here in Northwest Arkansas Friday night. It'll be Arkadelphia coming in to take on Shiloh Christian. Shiloh, won, they've, won, they've won 12 in a row since the season opening loss to Texarkana. Shiloh's offense, Rick, it's not PA level, but it ain't a far step from it either. Yeah. Hey, I got on the phone, the old uh, 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 digital phone right here, whatever it is. No, sell your phone. He's still Talk got rotary some, dial yeah, at home. I do. Don't let him fool you. I still got that phone. Uh, and I said, I talked to some people in Arkadelphia. I said, how do you go from 0 and 5 to 8 and 0? And the man told me it's simple. He said they lost a lot of their offensive linemen, three year starters, and they finally started gel with the offensive line. Of course, they played, you know, good teams in the non conference. This team has won eight in a row, Arkadelphia defending state champions. Yep. And, uh, man, this could be an exciting game, too. I don't know if it's going to be that high scoring because Arkadelphia is good on defense. Shiloh they are. Is a they lot are. better on defense. Remember, Rick, last That's year, Arkadelphia, one. they won this game in that crazy ending where Warren was driving down the field and in position to kick what might have been a game-winning field goal, I think maybe tying or winning, something like mm -hmm. that. And they didn't have any timeouts left, and the clock was running, and a student from Warren ran on the field yep. thinking he would delay the game and giving Warren a chance to, to possibly you know set up for the kick, but you know what it did? It cost them 15 yards. They moved, had to move out of field goal range, and they ended up you know not winning. Arkadelphia won, but anyway, it's crazy ending. I don't think that'll happen again. But anyway, Arkadelphia, they're on a roll. Shiloh's on a roll. Rick, who you got in that game? Oh man, I've been going back and forth and back and forth on this one, but Arkadelphia defending champion. To, until you beat the champion, they're still the champion. Right now, I'm leaning to Arkadelphia. I think. So that'll be a good one up here. Now we're going to be in 3A, Rick, Boonville, the Bearcats. This is what I, I was down at Boonville the other day. This is what I love about Boonville. Went down there and Noah Reyes, I'm doing a feature story on him for this week. He's their big defensive lineman that has 25 tackles for loss this year. Rick, wow. do the math on that. That's about two a game. I'll do that for okay, you, about two a game. You, yeah. All right, he comes out, got a little beard going on. It ain't painted on. He's growing that's a beard a down there. Right yeah, that's a man yeah. right there. About 261 pounds worth of it. Yeah. But what I like about Boonville, Boonville lost their starting quarterback, yep. Brandon Ulmer. This is a coach on the field for them, okay? His dad is a coach. This is a kid that shows up in the, at the field house to work out at 6 a.m. He don't go home until 8 p.m. I mean, this is a kid that he, he is was the heart and soul of that team. Now, by all rights and reasons, Boonville should have taken a, yep. a downward plunge, yep. right? Well, guess what? Boonville, they don't play they don't, that. Boonville no. said next man up. Because this is why, Rick, 
every snap of a football game, how many are 80 in a, 80 in a game, whatever? Yeah. Every snap of a game, a Boonville kid is going to punch the kid across the room in the mouth. In the mouth. Every single snap. Yeah. And it don't let up. Every single snap, they are going to punch you in the mouth, and eventually the other team don't want no more of it, okay? They don't want no more of it. That's Boonville football. That is blue collar. It doesn't matter who takes the snaps. It doesn't matter. They're going to punch you in the mouth every time. You're going to punch them back, and they're going to back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and it's usually the team in purple that ends up standing at the end. I don't know why you even have to look at film. You can go back 15 years, uh, 20 years, and boom, they're going to do the same thing, but you can't stop them. Nope. They're not going to do any fancy play, the fumble ruski, all that kind of stuff. And, and and you're right about the injuries. I mean, I hear college coaches, they got 85 kids on um, on a roster, and they lose the, the starting quarterback, the soul of the team, and my God, our season's done, it's over, we can't win. Boomville said, you know, man, uh, sorry what happened to you, son. Hey, you, uh, come on over here. And they just roll and roll and roll. Um, I mean, that's a lot of purple down yes, there. Yes, it is. A lot of yes, purple. Yes, it is. And I just like, uh, it's kind of a throwback. Uh, I like that kind of football. They're just going to run you to death. They're going to uh, uh, dive. They're going to do a sweep. They might throw one pass over your head when you come up. So good luck to Boonville. And, Prescott's uh, coming in, Rick. Prescott's a good early. team. The Curly Wolves, they're good. They've got a big quarterback, fast running back. You know, they're coming into Boonville. Prescott's a good team. There's no doubt mm -hmm. about that. Uh, but, Rick, who you got in that game? I, I got to go Boonville. I got to go to Purple People, Purple, whatever they call them down there. They're to take it to 14 and 0. Boonville is 13 and 0. They've been number one all season long um, in 3A. You know, nobody from Hooton's called up Boonville said, hey, you lost your quarterback. We're going to knock you down. If you... That yeah. didn't happen. They're still number one, have been number one. They get Prescott. Rick, you got Boonville in that one. So there you have it. Rick is taking North Little Rock in the 7A, Greenwood in the 6A, PA in the 5A. He's got Arkadelphia winning their ninth in a row, coming up to Shiloh right there. And he's got Boonville making it 14-0 and making it back to War Memorial for the first time since 2013. So there you have it. There's Rick's picks for this week. That's Prep Riley for this week. Don't forget, you can catch this show on the What's Up Ozark app. It's a free app you can get on your mobile device, so don't forget that. Don't forget we'll have all kinds of features, playoff previews, and all that kind of stuff leading into this week's championship games and semifinal games. That's it for now, and we will see you at a football stadium this weekend. 30K, North Central Arkansas, 30K down there Saturday night. That's your challenge.